Good morning. Okay then, I just want to explore this, another one I've got in a trade. Um, home protector. 70 mil, I'm assuming. I haven't got a tape measure, but that looks about 70 to me. 70 mil, 5 pin, key retaining, shutter lock. It's an interesting little thing, really. It's quite well made. There's a fair bit of weight to it. Bitting? Well, you wouldn't say there's a lot there, would you? Um, ball bearings, as far as I can tell. In fact, I can see one of them. I'll show you in a second. And we'll see if we can get the other one. Well, in fact, no, I don't think I can get the second one out. But, yeah, key retaining. Um, there's your bit of It's locked up. So, oh, well, I'm not going to call this single pin picking because I think that might be a slight stretch. You'll see what I mean in a sec. So, bottom of keyway. That's a gem. Obviously, it's a Peterson. Um, I thinned that one down really quite significantly. Took a lot of the meat out of that. Um, and what are we going to do? In fact, my tensioner has moved, so hang on. Just get that. And Come on now. There you go. So obviously, not really a lot to this. Pressing and poking around inside. I found if I do this, I can actually get the ball bearing out, which is a bit cool. And there you go. As long as I haven't f messed it up completely. So that's how I know there's a ball bearing. And I'm guessing, judging by the way it catches on here, there must be a second ball bearing and a spring in there. So drop that back in. Stick the key in. And it should, if I'm lucky, drop straight back into place. He says. Have we? There you go. See your ball bearings back in. He says. Or have I broken it? Nope, your ball bearings there. Though. So. What have I done? Why is it not flying open off the shackle? Ah, yeah. There's a little plate down in there, like I don't know if you guys can see that. I think I need to just sort of push that. There we go. It catches. So, fairly simple little thing, really. Home protector, 70 mil. Um. Thank you very much. Well, I've got it here. We might as well see what else we can do. Let's try some other bits and pieces in there. City rake, possibly. Let's have a go. Can't be any securities of any kind. And it, well, it's only five pin. Going to be enough keyway for this one. If this won't fit in here, then there's no way I'm getting the prince and princess in there. Come on now. Not sure. If I have me have a pick set, or may I go and get the, um, what are they called now, from the Petersons? Ripples. I've got a couple of them. Let's try. Different tension tool. May not be getting a city rake in there around that bit in tight keyway. No? Alright, so, no, that's not going to happen. What's next? Worm rake? One of the Mad Bobs. Love Mad Bobs picks. <laughs> He's been sold out for months, thanks to Bill. And of course, don't forget lifetime guarantee, ladies and gentlemen. Can't go wrong. I don't see any other pick manufacturers offering that. There we go. Worm rig as well. Though. There isn't a lot to the bitting. I mean, it kind of helps when you see the keys. But if I'm honest, I don't suspect it would have made a lot of difference with this padlock. Um, what else? This little S rate that we played with, or maybe even the offset diamond. Give those a go. So I'm not sure what we're calling that. Some kind of like jemmy offset reach diamond. I don't know. Let's see if that does the job. There you go. So rake, single pin picked. Can't be shimmed, obviously, because there's a ball bearing in there. I'd say that's done. Um, thank you again. Now, who was this? Was this Pickbeard, Baldy, or Henrik? I'll have to go back and check the videos and give you the necessary credit. Thank you very much. Pretty little thing, I have to say. 
for what it is. Nice little toy. It'll sit in my collection. Thanks very much, guys. I know it was only an easy one. It's a gorgeous day, and I'm going to go and do something for a bit. Take care now.